The GERD scan axis is changing the game in dermatology, so much so that in the near future, it's very likely that we'll all be taking gut-based treatments to improve our skin. But if you know about the GERD scan axis, you can help yourself today. So in this video, we're going to talk about what it is and how you can harness it to create your best skin. So a quick hello if you're new here. My name is Fiona and I'm a registered nutritionist with a master's degree in nutritional medicine. On this channel, we talk about how to eat for great skin because true skincare skin starts on your plate. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button because it really helps the channel. So let's get into this. What is the gut skin axis? The gut skin axis is just a fancy term to point out that your gut and your skin are connected. So if your gut is happy, your skin looks radiant. But if your gut is unhappy, your skin is much more likely to have issues. The main puppeteers of this connection are your gut microbes. That's the four pounds worth of bugs that you have living in your gut all the time. And these are talking to your skin constantly. They send messages via your immune system they infiltrate your nervous system and they can even manipulate your hormones and sometimes these gut bugs even show up on your skin. So how do gut microbes influence your skin? This is a new area of research and it is a huge area of research. What we know so far is that imbalanced gut bacteria and by that I mean too many bad bacteria or too few good bacteria is not great for your skin. In fact imbalanced gut bacteria has been linked to skin conditions like acne and eczema and psoriasis. What this means is that you really want to get your gut bugs on side. You don't want a chaotic and really mob sending stressful messages to your skin. Instead, you want a nice, calm, cooperative bunch who are essentially sending love letters to your skin. How can you optimize your gut microbes? We have three simple, easy tips to help you optimize your gut microbes and positively influence the gut skin axis. These are make fiber your friend, enjoy naturally fermented foods, and give your gut a break. Now, now you might think you've heard some of these before and if you're an informed kind of person I'm sure you have but as we go through these I'm going to give you robust examples to point out how they are specifically beneficial for your skin. So let's start with make fiber your friend. So here's the deal your gut bugs are naturally health conscious little folk. They love nothing more than munching on whole fiber rich foods. That's things like fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, pulses and legumes, which are things like chickpeas and lentils, and also some whole grains. Now, one study showed that people who eat a Mediterranean-style diet, which encompasses all of these types of food, tend to have more good gut bacteria. And remember, more good gut bacteria equals happier, more radiant skin. Now, most of us only eat half as much fiber as we should, but you can be different. Your goal here is to eat something fiber-rich every time you eat. And this is way easier and way more enjoyable than you think. It could be adding a sliced apple to your breakfast, or it could be sprinkling some seeds over a salad for a satisfying crunch, or it could be stirring some lentils or some chickpeas into a soup or a stew. If you need more convincing, one study showed that when people regularly ate a type of fiber found in chickpeas, their skin was more hydrated, they had fewer wrinkles, and their skin barrier was stronger. The gut skin axis is powerful. So that's your goal. Eat a fruit or a vegetable or a nut or a seed or a pulse or a legume every time you eat. If this has piqued your interest and you want to do a deep dive into the benefits of fiber for skin health, I've done a whole video on that, which I will link up here for you. Moving on to our second tip, which is to embrace naturally fermented foods. So by eating fiber, you're providing fuel for your existing good bacteria. By eating naturally fermented foods, you're giving your gut an injection of new good bacteria. Now, sometimes these stick around and take up residence in your gut, but sometimes they don't, and they just act like good Samaritans helping your existing good bacteria as they pass through. Now, good examples of naturally fermented foods are things like sauerkraut and kimchi and kombucha and kefir. And we have evidence that these help our skin. Bacterial strains extracted from kimchi have been shown to reduce acne breakouts by up to a half, which is pretty astonishing. And drinking kefir daily can dramatically reduce the severity of eczema and boost the skin's hydration. Again, 
the gut skin axis is powerful. I always say this, but naturally fermented foods are really easy to include in your diet because you don't need to eat much of them. Try adding just a couple of tablespoons of kimchi to salads or have it with eggs because it goes really well with those. Or you know that sliced apple you're adding to your breakfast? Could you also add half a cup of kefir? You could even put it in a smoothie. I have seen some pretty dramatic results from people just adding in kefir alone. So again, if you want to do a deep dive into that topic, I've also done a whole video on kefir for your skin, which I'll link here for you. Now, moving on to your third tip, which is to give your gut a break. Now, our modern food culture encourages us to eat pretty much constantly. And while I'm all for eating if you're genuinely hungry, there is a balance with this. And if you're eating in a way that balances your blood sugar, and again, I have a video on that, which I'll link there, then you find your appetite is naturally regulated and you just don't need to snack as much. And that's good news for your gut. And an easy way to understand this is to picture a beautiful garden with a lovely patch of grass. That's your gut. If you're walking over the grass constantly it's going to get muddy and worn down and maybe a bit depleted but if you give the grass a break and walk over it say just three times a day and water it in between it's going to flourish it's the same deal with your gut health. Too much grazing and your gut kind of struggles because it never gets the opportunity to do some housekeeping and some cleanup. Now research in this area is developing, but we do have research that shows that a form of fasting can help to boost skin's hydration and encourage a smoother texture. You guessed what I'm going to say, the gut's axis is powerful. Now, to be clear, I don't think that extended periods of fasting or even intermittent fasting are suitable for everyone. What I do advocate for is a good gap between your last bite of dinner and your first bite of breakfast. 12 hours is a really good amount of time to aim for. And if you think about it, you're going to be sleeping for most of that, so it's going to be quite easy. And also minimize snacking where you can, but be realistic, this is real life, and sometimes you're just going to be more hungry, and that's fine. Right, so say you're incorporating all of these tips, how long is it going to take to start to see changes in your skin? The short answer is probably longer than you want, but it's really worth sticking with it. Now your gut bugs or your gut microbes can start changing within a day of you tweaking your eating habits. What that means is that you'll first start to notice changes in your digestion, changes in your energy, and maybe even changes in your mood. The skin takes a little bit longer, but after about six to 12 weeks, you might start to notice things like fewer breakouts, more hydrated skin, and maybe even less noticeable wrinkles. I always, always, always recommend taking selfies because these changes can be subtle, but when you see them in a before and after shot, it can be pretty striking. So to sum up, your gut health is intimately connected to your skin health via the gut skin axis. You can make the gut skin axis work for you by making fiber your friend, enjoying naturally fermented foods, and giving your gut a break. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you might like another video I've done on how to eat for great skin, which I'll link there for you. I hope to see you there. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another video on nutritional skincare.